recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I also thank Mr. Capuano for his leadership on this matter. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of this bill and in strong support of accountability and transparency in all public service. For years, the former congressional leadership eroded the faith of the American people through corruption, dishonesty, and abuse of power. I came into office pledging to restore the people's trust, and as stewards of the public trust, we must hold Congress to the highest standard and end the abuses of the past. This legislation before us is an important step in restoring the trust of the people we serve in this body. It puts ethics violations in the hands of an independent, nonpartisan board, and that is the right way to give the American people the confidence that any corruption will be investigated fairly and thoroughly. I've also stood with my colleagues, Mr. Murphy of Connecticut and Mr. Space of Ohio, to co-sponsor an amendment that would allow this new body to have subpoena power in order to give the board the real teeth an outside investigative body should have. In my judgment, I would have preferred that the leadership and the Rules Committee had allowed this amendment to reach the floor for consideration. In the fullness of time, I believe we will see the wisdom of giving this new independent ethics body all the tools it needs to investigate alleged violation. However, even without this added power, I will support this bill because the perfect must not be the enemy of the good. Let there be no mistake, Mr. Speaker, this bill has had bipartisan input, and the bill was even pulled from the floor to make sure that on a bipartisan basis, suggestions for improvement were heard, reviewed, and incorporated. I was sent to Congress by the people of New Hampshire to clean up Washington. This legislation may not go all the way, but it goes a long way towards helping restore trust in the People's House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.